हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर सेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज वेदर एंड एयर वेदर वी हैव रीड अबाउट वेदर एंड सीजन इन इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वेदर इज डिफाइंड एज द कंडीशन ऑफ एयर सराउंडिंग अस दैट मीन्स वी ऑल हैव एयर सराउंड अस बट वी कैन नॉट सी दम only we can feel them we have familiar with the solid liquid and gas that means the solid things which are solid in their state we can touch them we can see them this type of things are solid for example eraser pencils they are the solid things liquid things that means the water milk they are in liquid state but oxygen carbon dioxide we can see them no but we can not also live without them without oxygen and without oxygen our life is not possible because when we breathe we take in oxygen and take out carbon dioxide but both gas are in gas both gas are in gas matter so we can not see them we can only feel them like this air is always present around us but we can not see them only we can feel them so it keeps on changing every day air because of air weather is always changing every day but why does the weather keep on changing why the weather is keep always changing who is responsible for this the answer to these questions is the sun the all process are done because of sun the weather is always change because of sun the sun is responsible for causing changes in the weather let's read on further to see how how the all is be done because of sun the sun and changes is weather and seasons how many seasons we have winter summer monsoon the all season are causes because of sun the sun causes changes in weather and seasons because it hits the earth unevenly this happen because the earth is continuously revolving revolving around the sun in a fixed orbit you all know the earth is revolving around the sun in a fixed orbit thus a given time only one half of the earth is facing the sun for example this is sun and this is earth earth is always revolving around the sun revolving around the sun when this is the front phase of the sun when the earth is come here the hub part is in front of the sun but the hub part is behind of the sun so when is revolving around the sun the phase position of the earth is changing there there's a given time only one half of the earth is facing the sun we also know that the earth is slightly tilted on its axis so a earth part of the earth is near the sun while the other part is slightly away from the sun the part which is near the sun receiving more sunlight compared to other part so therefore has longer and warmer days it is summer in this part of the earth when we have in front of the sun then we have get more sun rays here so our days is longer and warmer that that means we feel that summer season here the seasons keep on changing as the earth revolves around the sun now again earth revolves around the sun now come behind side of the sun now we will not get rays more rays here so we feel short days and cool days that means winter season the sun also plays an important role in blowing of winds the air gets heated up due to the heat of the sun this heated air becomes lighter and rises 
to fill its space. Cool air which is heavier comes. This movement continues and causes wind shear. As we have learned in our previous chapter, the sun is also responsible for rain. Sun responsible weather also then sun is also responsible for rain water in the water body it evaporates because of the heat of the sun and forms water vapor this water vapor combine and form clouds when clouds become heavy the fall as rain sometimes these water drops freeze and fall as snow that means Sun is also responsible for rain. How? Evaporation. Evaporation that means when we boil water. What happens there? When we boil water, the water will change in gas form, in evaporation form. Now the form, is, the fog is going on sky, going in sky in the form of clouds because the water which is available in river, in sea, they all get heat from the sunlight. After getting heat, they convert in gas form, in fog form and go in the sky as a cloud. When the cloud become heavy and come again on the earth in rain form, sometimes they also freeze and fall as snow. Now air. Air is all around us. We cannot see it but we can feel it. I, as I said to you, we cannot see it but we can feel it. Presence when it blows, moving air is called wind. Moving air is called wind here. We cannot see them. We can only feel wind. Generally moving wind is called breeze while fast moving is called storm. <coughs> Air is matter because it has mass and occupies space. Any type of things which occupy space we call matter there. And air is also, also wants some space for staying. How? We have also activity for this. This activity proved that the air is also occupies space. For this, take a balloon. Weigh it using a physical balance and not down its weight. Now inflate the balloon and weight again. What do you find? You find the weight is changing there. What do you observe? You will notice that the weight of the balloon has increased when we fill up air in them. This is because the air filled the balloon has mass, occupies space there. Now try to squeeze the inflated balloon. Are you able to squeeze it or does the balloon burst? We will notice that you can squeeze the balloon easily. This is possible only because air is squeezed there. We have already learned that air is a mixture of gases. Air is mixture of gases. Many types of gases are available in the air. It has two main gases. Which two main gases? First oxygen and nitrogen. Oxygen and nitrogen. Out of these nitrogen forms its largest part and oxygen forms the second largest part. Nitrogen is more compared to oxygen. Apart from this trace amount of some other gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor are also found in air. Air is almost a mixture of this type of gases. The other of air are smoke, dust and germs. We can also find the smoke, dust and germs are available in the air. The continuous movement of the air from, from hot to cold reasons and vice versa is called air currents. Because when they get the heat from the sun at day, they get heated because of the sunlight. At night, 
they cannot get sunlight so they convert in cool air and because of these all these all processes are called the air currents in coastal areas these air currents are responsible for causing sea breeze and land breeze sea breeze and land breeze see land first land heats up and cools down faster than water land is cool up cool and uh, down faster compared to water therefore in the day time land gets heated up due to the heat of the sun much faster than the sea the hot air rise up from the land while the cool air from the sea blows into thick in place this is called sea breeze that means first the air in the uh, present on land is heat then when it come in river at night in water this is called sea breeze at night the atmosphere is cooler so the land cools faster than the sea the land cools faster than the sea because the sea the water of the sea and river available uh, we can see that the water is water compared to uh, compared to land at night now the hot air rises from the sea and cool air from the land blows towards the sea this is called the land breeze this is the difference between sea breeze and land breeze you can also see on page number 112 the pictures are available there in first picture you can see the air from water come on to land this is called sea breeze and the air at night come from land to river land to water they are called land breeze air and its impotence air is very important important for us so air and its impotence all living things need air to breathe without breath we cannot live our life and for breathing we need oxygen and from where we get oxygen we can get oxygen from air without air we cannot survive air is needed to burn things like wood and paper if we want to burn them then we also need air there air is responsible for rain air is also responsible for rain there will be no rain without air <coughs> for this we have also other activity here this activity shows us that air is also important for burning for this you can see that take a candle and light it first take a candle and light it now keep a glass beaker bigger than the candle in an inverted position over it you can see there first the candle is lighted but there is no glass on it but in see, see second part you can see they have put glass on to a candle what happened after some time you will notice that the candle's flame goes off the candle flame goes off after some time this happened because you have cut off the air supply of the candle we have cut the air supply from the candle the air which was inside the beaker was used up by while burning after some time when all the available air was used up and there was no air available inside the flame went off it shows that air is necessary for burning that means this activity proves if we want to burn any kind of thing then they need air for burning in this activity we can see that the first candle is blowing but when we put glass on it it blowing for some time the air is only according according to air which is available inside when the air is finished 
they have no air for burning the flame is off there the flame went off there because the air is not available that means air is also important for burning something in this chapter we have discussed about the weather how the seasons are change how we will get rain because of the sun the weather is also change because of the sun the rain we will uh, we can also get rain from sky it is one type of uh, one type of water which is present on the earth but uh, but doing some processes they will become clouds and after some time the clouds come again on our earth in form of rain then land breeze and sea breeze air is very important for our, us without air we cannot survive our life then air is also needed for burning things so in this chapter we have discussed about this type of things now our chapter number 13 is completed here now we will meet in our next session with our next chapter till then take care